Hi guys, um, today I am just going to go through um, some of my, like, my colouring books, my adult colouring books um, and activity books. Um, quite a lot of these have been given as gifts. I do tend to do these as stress relief, I find them really helpful. So the first one is Reckless Journal Everywhere. Um, this actually, I've only done a couple of pages in it because it was bought for my Rangers when we went to Copenhagen. Um, I bought it so that if they were on a long journey anywhere they could um, basically have, have something to do. Um, they did fill some of the pages and they haven't quite finished them all. So we've got, I can't remember what they did for the room, wrecking method there, they did something. They started to log the route we were taking on the train. Uh, they put that in the pond, I think, at um, Tivoli Gardens, so they floated that. Um, and then they poked holes and things. They did drag it around with a piece of string. We had some wool with us and there's quite a lot of dirt there. I'll try and not touch that. <laughs> there's a page somewhere where they did actually find bugs and squish them in, so we tried to avoid that page. I really need to stick something over it. Um, it's handy little just activity books that you can kind of work on. And um, obviously it's the miniature version of Reckless Journal, which I do have two of. Um, the next one, I don't really know where this came from. I think it came free with a magazine, but somebody gave it to me at Christmas. Um, I haven't actually done anything in this. I think I gave it to my cousin to fill some pages in, or one of the kids in work, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, one of the kids in work did some drawings in it, or colourings in it. Um, so yeah, there's that one. Uh, the next one is The Enchanted Forest. Um, I'm going to be honest, I haven't, I don't think, done anything from this one. It was a Christmas gift and I just haven't found the time to really invest in it because some of the pictures are so beautiful in it, I really want to take the time with it. Um, I think this is one of the ones that has, yeah, big pages of that that pull out and such. So it's one that I really want to sit down and work on because there you go, there's the pull out pages. So you can see there. Uh, it's really in depth, but so I want to take some time on that one. The next couple were like the Relax With Art books that came out. I have done a few pages on these, um, so like there, I've done a couple. Um, these were alright, they're, they're, they're supposed to have a different theme every time, but they were a bit, I don't know, boring with some of the designs, so they were a bit samey. So I only really bought two copies and then haven't really done much from them. And then you've got Creative Colour. I don't know where this came from at all, I'm going to be honest. I can't remember if I perhaps was given it as a gift. Um, I've done a few pages in that one and some of the ones I haven't done. Uh, that Did I do that? I think I may have done that, yeah. Um, it's just a bit of a mix and match. I don't remember where I got that one from though. This one came from the works. Um, again, I'm realising I'm not I've not done my page in these. I've done this page. Um, this I think it was only like $3.99, but the designs are quite simple. Um, but yeah, creative colour colouring for grown-ups. My battery is about to die, so I'm just gonna change the battery and then it'll come back. Okay, so new battery in place, I can carry on now. Then we have the gorgeous colouring book for grown-ups. Again, I think this was from the works, but as you can see, it has very plain pages. I've done a few in this one. Um, a few there. I think there's a few further on. I kind of like that one. I like the bold lines on it as well, so it makes the patterns really stand out. Quite a handy one just to be able to take, like I took it on trips with me. Um, because it's just quite small and compact. My next two um, are Write This Journals. Everybody knows these. Um, I've actually had these, I think, since 2010. Um, so I've had them quite a while now. Um, they're near enough finished. There's a few things I've got to redo. Um, I'll probably do a video showing all the pages in this. Um, so yeah, I've got one, and then I have two. Um, this one's the extended one that came out after, so that's the very original one. This one's got more pages in it. 
Um, this one's less done because I got it out after, after obviously. Um, I do really love the fronts of them, so this is made out of roses wrappers before they changed them. Um, and this was actually a drawing by a friend, um, and she was going to throw it in the bin. <laughs> so I was like, eh, no, I'll have that for my Rose Journal, it's really quite cool. But I'll do a full video showing all of those. The next isn't really a colouring box, but more of, as, as it says, it's an art kit. I started doing bits of this and I couldn't really get into it. I keep thinking that I'm going to use it for maybe my, my guides or seniors so they can use it as like a starting guide and um, when we're on a holiday or when we're on a day trip. Um, it's got some good tips in it, basically just to like, it says get your message out into the, the world and be a guerrilla artist. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, I just think I wasn't in the, like ever in the right place to really start it because it just takes quite a bit of dedication to do it, but it's got some good ideas in it. So yeah. The next two I bought, and I really, <laughs> I have sent a few of these postcards out. So they're just basically postcards that you colour in. Um, so like I've not sent that one out to anybody yet. Um, I'm thinking this one that I haven't really done, I've only done like, I think, you yeah, know, one page in it. Um, again, I might take these on a holiday for guides or brownies or rangers and let them colour one in and then send it home. I think that would be quite a nice activity for them. Uh, just because I know I won't really colour all of these in. I won't ever get round to it. The, as I said, these are really, really bold designs. I quite like them. Um, they're really easy to follow so I have no doubt that the kids will be able to colour these in no problem. It does say for adults, but as I say there, they'll be fine. Next was an art therapy book. That came, it was like a, um, a weekly, I think, or monthly um, book. I just got the first one because it was 99p and I thought I'll give it a try. Uh, I've coloured a few things in, but uh, this seems to be the theme of everything. I colour a few things in and then get bored of it. Um, these were right, they were quite expensive afterwards. I think they were like seven pounds. Um, when you wanted to get them after the first subscription so I never really bothered afterwards. This actually has another one that goes with it. So these came as a set from Tesco. So you've got my lovely colouring book which is as it says colouring pages. So that's one. Do a few more somewhere in it. It has a mix of pages where some of them are like half coloured and you kind of have to follow the pattern. Um, I think these are meant for more teenagers, but when you're colouring, you're colouring. Um, and then this one has like pages, it's like a bullet journal I suppose. Um, I kept thinking I was going to probably give it to my cousin's daughter because it's not something I'll probably do. Um, she probably would love it. Um, so I'll probably give that away at some point. But the two came as a set I think for like four or five pounds, so it wasn't bad. I didn't, the only problem I had was you couldn't see into it because they're um, together in plastic wrapping so you couldn't see what was inside of it so I didn't know what this book was going to be until I got into it. Um, next one is another one of the Kerry Smith. Um, so it's basically mess and it's the manual of make accidents and mistakes so it's basically I did quite a few of the pages in this where it's like just different activities so like do a painting using one brush stroke and um, look at Chinese calligraphy. Um, I do want to revisit this book at some point and I, pro I will do um, just because I did actually start to get into this but then I think stuff just got, gets in the way, life gets in the way. So yeah I'll probably revisit that one because I quite I do like Kerry Smith's books um, I do find that like a lot of people use them for stress like therapy um, and anxiety because they give you a chance to kind of vent that. And another Kerry Smith, um, which was is the This Is Not A Book. Uh, I gave up on this one only because it, it says you have to do every single page um, as you go through. So I did every single, I started doing every single page as I went through and then got bored and I'm really a stickler for like rules. <laughs> so I, I just was like, oh, I'm not gonna skip ahead. Um, yeah, this one's, it's, it's similar just to like, I just realised, I don't remember doing that. <laughs> it's got 10p in the book. Um, 
yeah, it's quite a good one. You just need to keep on top of it and do every single page as you go along, which is so it's a cool one. Next one was a gift, and I haven't really. I know it's um, by is it Alfie? Yeah, Alfie dies. Um, it's he's a YouTuber, so it's a pointless book. Um, somebody gave it me. Um, I've started to look at it. It's very, very similar to the Reckless Journal, in my opinion. Um, so you can do whatever you want in it. Um, and I have, if you look there, I've just started doing different bits and bobs. I started to make a hat and failed miserably. <laughs> um, yeah, that one's. It's not bad, it's just a thing, it's, it's aimed more and more at teen teenagers because obviously that's what his market is. I got a colour therapy relax with colours. Again, I was given this in a random act of kindness. Um, I think it was one of the ones like you got free or something, I'm not sure. Or it might have been like from one of the pound shops. But I've not really tried to draw, I don't like, like I struggle with drawing realistic animals. So like the ones that are more realistic would probably end up being like purple birds because I'm a bit crazy like that. So yeah, that one's eh, it's not bad. It says 30 pages with 60 designs. So there's that one. This one I picked up myself. This was one of the first ones I think I picked up because it was mindfulness colouring. I don't even think I've done any pages and I picked it up. It was one of the first ones and I got overwhelmed with people giving me other ones. Um, so yeah, that's, it's got some cute designs in it. it. They're very, very simplistic, so some of the pages it's literally like, it's just sauce, just some vines or stars or shells, so they're quite they're quite quick to do. So I really should probably do those. <laughs> and this is one of my favourites, um, because I love the British Bake Off. Um, so this is, as it says, the British Bake Off colouring book. Um, I've got a few pages in this one. Um, so yeah, I like that one quite a lot. This was the matcher to one of the first Southern, the adult colouring book, the small one. This is the one that matches that. So you can see it's just patterns. I've started some of them. I really should finish books rather than starting loads of them. Um, it's just patterns, it's not anything special with it. But again, it's quite a handy little size just to carry around with you. Uh, then we have two more Carrie Smith ones. These were a, I think a birthday present they came with. I got the other ones at the same time, except I got everything but the two reckless journals at the same time as these. Um, a lot of these like more activities that you can do. I find these really good for inspiration. And to finish this book again was like you had to do it in order. Um, I know I started to do it. Yeah, you can see I started to do it. Oh, there was my thing with my old details, so it's all good. Um, yeah, the Kerry Smith books just as a whole are incredible just to get you a bit more out and about and to get you thinking creatively. So if you're in a bit of a rut, they can be really helpful to instruct you to get your creativity back. So there's those. And then I have, I'm coming to the end of it now, um, more mindful colouring, mindfulness colouring. So the more mindfulness colouring I picked up, I think when I just, so the next one is the more mindfulness colouring. Um, I picked this up, I think when I went out with some of the kids from work, it was more, I wasn't sleeping real, very well in the evenings um, and I was on a sleep shift so I thought I'll get that just to give me something to do in the evening after they've all gone to bed. Um, I've coloured in a few pages, I'll just find one of them, uh, there you go, so I started that one. Um, it was just a bit of a, you know, purchase on the whim, I bought um, some basic biros with it at the time and just filled some pages in on it. Then we have the happy book, it's more like a wreck this journal again. Um, it has different sections and other things you have to like say and do and build a story. Um, it's a bit of a mix and match, I've known adults to do this. Um, but then some of the stuff, it, well it does say work and it says like school. Um, so it does, it does have different markets and different people. Um, I quite like that one. 
Um, I do revisit it every so often. Um, so, but I think I had to order this off of Amazon. Somebody told me about it and I couldn't find it anywhere in any bookshops. I tried Waterfields, um, sorry, Waterstones. Waterfields is the bakers. Um, yeah, I tried Waterstones, I tried um, WH Smith. Um, I think, I tried a few places anyway and I couldn't find it anywhere. Um, so yeah, I had to order that online. Now we come to these, which were just little things you pick up. They're all little tiny mini colouring pads. Um, they're quite handy just to have to hand um, with a pack of like. Uh, the next set are like all mini books. So as you can see here, they're all just tiny little colouring books that are really quick just to fill in. I think these cost like a pound each from the range. Um, they're quite handy just to have if you've got kids or if you, you know if you do like me volunteer work with kids, you can just keep one in your bag. Um, in my actual job as well, you can just keep one in my bag and then with a pack of you know, small felt tips and if they get really bored, you've got something for them to do. They're, they've got like some really, for how small they are, some of them have some really detailed patterns and stuff in them. Um, but yeah, they're just quite handy little ones to have. Um, so that is, I believe, everything in my collection of like activity and flooring books. Um, I hope you like this video and don't forget to subscribe.